This is going to be the easiest way to learn your handstand. So if you've been struggling to get your handstand down, or maybe you just want, you've never tried it before and you want to get it, this is the trick that you're going to want to use. We haven't shared this on this channel before. Uh, I haven't seen any videos sharing this trick. So it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to share it with you. Now, this is one that we learned from our buddy Frank Gray. You've probably seen him in other handstand videos on this channel. This is a trick we learned from him. He's a high level gymnast. And uh, I guarantee once you start trying this, you'll see how effective it is. It's a really cool one. Now, all you need to learn this move is a couch. And what I highly recommend and what I say you need too is some pillows. This is just some pillows and a blanket. So that way we keep everything safe. You don't have to worry about anything while we're learning this. Now, if you haven't gotten your core strength down, you don't know the technique to the handstand, then these are going to be two important things that you have to get down. If you haven't gotten the core strength down, you need workouts, you need exercises for moves like the handstand or other acrobatics, then that's where I want you to check out our Acro 101 program. You can check that link in the description at any time during this video. Now for the technique, after I share with you this simple trick, I'm going to give you some other tricks with the technique. Some of these, uh, once we shared them on our channel before, guys were able to get their handstand right after implementing those techniques that we shared. So be sure to stay tuned in the end of the video after we go over this, I'm going to go over those as well. All right, so here's the technique. We're going to get a couch like this and we're going to have the setup again. We're laying out pillows. And for the couch, ideally you'd want to have it against the wall so it doesn't slide. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to climb on top of the couch. The secret to this is this position right here because we're going to put our hands on the ground and we're going to place them right up against. We want our form right against this sofa here because what this is going to do, it's going to give us a massive amount of support in our arms. So that way we're not having to balance near as much. This is the trick right here. This is going to support us so much that now we don't have to focus as much on the balance and we can work on the technique and we still practice a little bit with the balance enough to where when we start doing it against the wall later or freestanding, we're going to be much better at it. So we're going to place the hands right up against this, forearms touching against the sofa here. And then with one leg, you're going to place it on the top of the sofa. So one leg we're putting on top like so. The second leg, we're going to lift up. So once we're, we have this position like this, right? So we can lift this leg freely. The other one's rested on the top of the sofa. This is where we're now going to go into that hand sack technique. So we're going to press our, our weight into the, the palms. We're going to make sure our forearms are still pressed against here. We're going to straighten our shoulders. We're going to lift our hips up, get in that straight line with the back if we can, then raise that one foot up. And then from here, we can take that foot that's rested on the sofa and start balancing it like this and kicking it off until you can start to feel that balance where you can lift off, come back until eventually you'll be able to do this pretty easily because you have that extra balance and support there with the forearms and then you can come back down easily. Now, <laughs> again, as we're first doing this, you may not be able to do that, you know, first time. It's going to take some practice, but this is going to make it way easier. So that's why we have the pillows because, you know, most of us will do this. We'll be going, oh, we'll fall, and then, but we'll be okay because we'll have this so we don't slam our back, we don't hurt ourselves. Now, I quickly want to go over this. When we bail, there's a few things. First, make sure that when you have your pillows or your cushions set up, that's long enough to cover your body and arms extended because remember you're going to be falling forward so you want to be able to lay down like this and still be good the second thing when we bail and this is a big one anytime we're bailing and going forward like this you want to take your chin and tuck it down towards your chest so this way we don't risk hitting our head if we have our head up like this this is an easy way you can damage your neck or even break your neck if you're going like this and your head's turned up. Always tuck that chin down so that we can roll on our back like that. And ideally you would want to roll out of this if you can't. So a little curve in the back so that when we slam down or come off with this, we can come down like that. 
But with the pillows and stuff, it keeps us safe. So even if we do mess up a little bit, we're okay. Now that you learned that trick with the sofa, I want to give you some extra helpful technique tricks that's going to help you master this handstand. And for some people, before, once they learn these techniques, they were able to master their handstand after years of frustration from other stuff before. Now we've shared these on this channel before, so you may recognize them. So the first one is with the hands. This is where your base is, right? So pretty much with the handstand, all especially when you start getting more advanced, everything is gonna be with the hands. So as you place your hands down, again, you wanna spread your fingers, get as much space as possible. You wanna keep your hands close together, so pretty much in line with your shoulders, and you want to think about if you're pressing up with the shoulders. So they're going to be a little bit narrower than probably what you're used to. But this is going to give you a better structure. Then, this is the, and this is the big trick right here. Most people, when they're balancing or trying to do their handstand, all their weight is in the back of their palm. It's right here. The problem with this is you have nowhere to go after that. Because the trick with the handstand is being able to control yourself with your hands. If all your weight is in the back, you can't push back. So once you start falling this way, you're gonna fall back and you're never gonna be able to hold that bounce. So the trick is, and I learned this from Modern Tarzan, so big shout out to him. If you haven't already, follow him on Instagram. He's got a lot of cool videos and stuff on there. But what he showed us is that you wanna put the weight right about the knuckles here. Because this allows you then, if you put the weight here by shifting the shoulders forward over that point right there, this allows you to then bounce yourself much easier because if you're falling forward, you can push with the fingers. If you're falling back, you can now dig in with the heel of your hand and push yourself back into that bounce. So that's huge. So, and then once, so once you have that down, you have that positioning with the hands, then it's about keeping a straight body, engaging your core, your glutes. And this is an analogy that my brother used before. You see, if you're doing the handstand, you want to imagine yourself as a stiff spatula, stiff wooden spoon, right? See how much easier this is to balance? Everything's rigid and stiff. You're just using the bottom, the base, to balance, just like with your hands. You don't want to be a floppy sock, right? That's, there's no balance at all here. You're just flopping around all loose. So you want to be a stiff spatula here. Everything's stiff, so once you have that base, then it's about engaging the core, lengthening your body, engaging the core so this isn't moving around, and then squeezing your glutes so your legs are straight. So then when you go into the handstand, you can go into it and everything else is straight and stiff, right? So now you're just using your hands to balance you. You start falling forward, you dig with the fingers. You start falling back, you dig in with the palms, all right? And so once you have those two technique points down, it really makes it so much easier to get that handstand, especially with that couch trick. Now, I wanna share with you some pretty awesome clips here. If you see here, these are guys and girls that have been through our Acro 101 program, people in our academy. And I just wanna give a huge shout out to them because they put in a lot of work and training and were able to get things like their handstand, some really cool acro moves. So big shout out to you guys for going to the next level in your training. And if you want to do the same thing, you can check out our Acro 101 program down below. This is where we start off by building a base. So you're gonna learn the fundamental shapes for acrobatics. We're gonna start building strength uh, and mobility for these acro moves. And then we go through phases. So you start to learn beginner moves first until you get to the more advanced ones. So if you wanna check that out, you can just by going to the link below. Now, if you haven't yet, if you've been watching all of our videos and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe right now, turn those notifications, and then leave a comment down below for any other videos and things like that, and I'll see you in the next video.